Okay, welcome everybody. Welcome to our 3R Symposium. The goal of um, this event is to share some practical, practical solutions and success stories about the application of replacement, reduction and refinement of animal experimentation. Um, we, this is a shared um, event. We organized it um, with a number of people. So um, as you can see, it's our seventh annual symposium. It's a series uh, that used to be our um, social housing um, symposium series. And um, we co-sponsor and co-organize this, um, first of all, with the Johns Hopkins Center for Alternatives to Animal Testing. My colleague Camilla and I are doing this. Then the Johns Hopkins Department of Molecular and Comparative Pathobiology, Eric Hutchinson is here, um, the, the leader and um, the USDA Animal Welfare Information Center, AVIC, Jesse Cullen, and Christina Adams, and the NIH Office for Laboratory Animal Welfare, Nira Gopi, Kate Pritchard, Nicolette Peterberry, and Pat Brown. So just a little bit um, of a history of the symposium. Um, it was, it was, it has actually a long history. It started in 2013. Um, in 2012, um, Christina Adams and Eric Hutchinson were sitting together in a brewery in Fort Collins, Colorado, and they were talking about um, what they would like to attend in terms of workshops and series, because they used to attend um, a series um, that was actually um, hosted by um, Bloomsmith and Shapiro um, on the care and training of non-human primates. And this um, workshop series was no longer happening. So they were thinking that they would really like to see another social housing um, of laboratory animal series. And then they decided to take it up and uh, do such a series themselves. And then they approached and Sulu, um, who is my predecessor at CAT, she was the head of the um, refinement program at the Center for Alternatives to Animal Testing at the time, um, actually until three years ago when I took over. And um, also they uh, approached Pat Brown from the Office of Laboratory Animal Welfare. And so, yeah, then they started the series in 2013. Um, they, um, we've had six um, social housing events since then in various places in the US. And um, since, since um, the last two years, we actually had the, the symposium series in the USDA National Agricultural Library. Um, here you can see two pictures from last year's event. Um, it is a really nice venue. We were planning to have it there again this year. But due to the corona crisis, um, we decided to put it online. And um, if you're interested in the former talks, um, some of them or most of them actually um, were recorded and you can find them on the USDA National Agricultural Library website. Um, here's the link. And um, we are also going to record um, today's and tomorrow's event and make this available as well. Um, yeah, we, what, what happened then? Because we are saying this is the seventh um, series of the three R's. Obviously, we had six um, symposia that focused on social housing of laboratory animals. But last year, we decided that it's time to also focus on other areas of refinement. And of course, um, because um, we are talking about the three R's of animal experimentation, we also wanted to open it up uh, to the areas of reduction and replacement um, of animal use and science. Um, yeah, so actually, we would like your feedback at the end of the symposium. Um, what what uh, do you think about the online format? The positive thing is that we can have way more participants and, of course, international participants. It's much easier to zoom in um, from another part of the world than just to you have to go to um, Bellsville, Maryland. Um, so for next year, we are planning, we want to have your feedback and we are planning to have a hybrid event, maybe if that's uh, a good idea. We could also that way have more international speakers. And yeah, so that is it about um, how we, we changed our mind on yeah, opening up to the three R's. I'm very excited about that. 
Um, the people from the US, the veterinarians, uh, will be happy to know that you will get nine hours of race credits um, for this symposium. And everybody, uh, no matter where you're from, will get a certificate of attendance. And, um, and, and a few other things. Um, the first talk is the keynote. Um, and for the keynote, we have one hour, including Q&A. So um, when you have a question, please start uh, writing it in the Q&A box. Um, we will watch the box and then um, pick um, some questions. Obviously, we can't ask all the questions because we have a lot of attendees, um, almost two pe 200 people uh, registered for this. So we will do what we can to answer questions. And maybe we have a chance, um, depending on the, on the time the speakers have, to answer some more questions offline. Yeah, so that's that's about all you need to know for now. And um, I would go and introduce our keynote speaker, Barbara Horowitz. She's a medical doctor and a visiting professor at Harvard University Department of Human Evolutionary Biology and professor of medicine in the UCLA Division of Cardiology.